What's up, weirdo? Shade Tree Surgeon here, and for some reason beyond my ken, and trust me, it ain't hard to get beyond my ken. I am now in Portland, Oregon, joined by Chaylisi. If you guys remember, I was uh, in uh, Portland, Oregon. Why is it not focusing on you? There we go. I can't focus either. <laughs> I was in Portland, Oregon not that long ago to pick up a uh, 1979 shovel head, which we then ended up riding, uh, or I ended up riding all the way back to Tampa from Portland, Oregon. I thought that was a pretty exciting adventure. I was really bummed that Shay Lisa didn't get to go on it. I've done two, I will tell you, I've done two cross country trips in the last six months that Shay Lisa didn't get to go on. Portland ended up treating me really well. I, I thought that everybody in Portland was just gonna be like left-handed Eskimo lesbian midget or something like that. But strangely enough, I got to Portland and found really awesome people and had a really amazing time. She just tell me to stop when I talk, talk about everybody's stupid haircuts. A lot of stupid haircuts in Portland. That doesn't mean we don't have a good time with you guys. <laughs> a lot of dumb haircuts. You ended up meeting my man Jason from Sugar Tree Farms. Remember my video uh, when I came up here with Abel Circus Bear Moto? We toured this place. Uh, Shaylee, she got to tour it. And we are back up here for a very specific reason. We're back up here because Jason invited us. And let me tell you something about Jason right now. The whole reason I know this guy, before I found out that he had like this gigantic uh, marijuana empire and the dab factory and all this stuff. The whole reason I met Jason, he emailed me out of nowhere, total cold call, and he says, hey, I watched that video you did where you rode the Silverwing across the country. I bought a Silverwing because I watched that video and I wanna donate it to Forgotten Angels to be used as a raffle bike. It was a cold call email, said nothing about this. He even said he would ship it down. So I'll ship it down to you, just give it away, it's fine. Just wanna help out Forgotten Angels with all the videos that you guys do with that. So that's why we're back. That's turned into a lot of other things. Some things that I'm actually very, very excited about. One of the things that we've been working on right now, before too long, you guys are gonna go ahead and uh, be able to sample something from Brapstar. Brapstar smokables, maybe some Brapstar edibles, maybe some Brapstar, well, smokables and edibles, I guess that's how you do it. Anyway. <laughs> Marijuana ones, and now I'm gay. Picking out some strains. Me and Shaylisa are out here. We are picking up the silver wing. How cool is it when you meet somebody and they just want to do a nice thing? They're not like, hey, I have this business, or hey, let's do business. Literally, was just like, hey, I've got this bike. Uh, I want to give it away. I want to do a nice thing with it. And then we started talking. And before this stuff, he owned a gun store and he rides every day. He's got a, a Dyna and a road fly. Like one of those people that you just meet and you feel like you've been friends with forever. And I just thought that was so cool. So anyway, now we're back up in Portland and uh, it's all your fault. Well, not pick it up. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna leave Shay Lisi behind again. I can't do that to her again. I'm not doing yeah. another six hour flight by myself. That was Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm not gonna leave you behind again. So I think we're just gonna ship that one back. I've already done it to her twice. <laughs> so we'll ship that one back. It's not a big deal. Hey, uh, you don't have to ship that one back. Why don't you guys both ride? I'm not yeah. doing that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing that again. Yeah, I'm not gonna. You don't have to ride because we might have a, a little extra surprise that we got from her. We bought, we did buy a plane ticket back. This wasn't a one-way flight. <laughs> what do you mean an extra surprise? Well, let's go see if we can go one way. <laughs> there's a covered bike out there, uh, and, and it, there's a little surprise underneath it. Uh, I don't think you're gonna be taking that plane flight back. Uh, no, this is BS. <laughs> Uh, so I saw this one when I pulled up. I didn't see that one. <laughs> That's new. So this is also another silver wing. <laughs> How'd you find another one? Yeah, you can find anything in Portland. <laughs> No way. Um, dude, it's literally the same motorcycle. I, everyone's gonna think I'm making this up, but I promise you, I literally, I met Jason because of this motorcycle right here, and I thought we were coming up here just to hang out with him, talk about making some Brapstar products with Sugar Tree Farms, and all of a sudden, uh, yeah, I knew this motorcycle was happening. I didn't know that one was. Anyway, this doesn't bother me, Shay, I'm excited. 
I'll ride a car. I'll ride across the country. I'll, I'll ride across the country, no problem. Dude, that was in like <laughs> brand new. Right? Yeah, you could ride. You could do it. Yeah, I'm taking the nice one. If if I have to do this, I'm taking the nice. Wait. Uh, all right. All right. I'll give it to you. It has a radio. What's the big deal? All right. We flew. We literally flew here. We landed this morning. Are you ready to ride 4,000 miles on a motorcycle that's 40 years old? No. Shaylisi, first time on the motorcycle that Jason has uh, officially challenged her <laughs> to ride across the country. I mean, how bad can it be? How do you feel? Cross country worthy? Hell yeah. How is this actually happening? I know everyone's gonna be like, this was a setup. It's, it's not. Like I actually literally met Jason because of this motorcycle and flying out here to discuss some Brapstar THC products and four-day business trip uh, Turned into me and Shay Lisi are riding double silver wings home. This one is like perfect That one's a little rough, but it's nowhere near as rough as the one that I've ridden across the country So I think it's gonna be just fine. Well, I mean fingers crossed. It's still a 40 year old motorcycle we got the four mirror thing happening because these top mirrors right here, uh, they are notorious for getting all bent out of shape under high RPMs. But the thing's only got 8,800 miles on it. Now, I haven't opened it up yet, but it is wild how much more power this has than the GL500. I mean, it's only 150 cc's bigger, but it just feels like a completely different motorcycle, yet also exactly the same motorcycle. I'll be honest, I wasn't super surprised when Jason from Sugar Tree farms up there said i challenge you to ride this motorcycle back to from portland to, to tampa because like i said that's the whole reason that we met up i was coming to portland to buy that shovel head and i had that email from him saying like hey i've got a really nice silver wing that i would like to donate to be raffled off to benefit forgotten angels and this is not for a tax write-off it's not for any reason like he just goes i just want to just want to donate it and do the right thing and so i said cool i'm up in portland i'm picking up this shovel head i'll come check it out and then I found out about Sugar Tree Farms, the Dab Factory, and we started talking about some other stuff, and all of a sudden, uh, some really cool things are happening, but yeah, since he bought it because he was watching me ride my GL500 across the country, that's why he bought it. I'm not surprised he was like, oh, I want you to ride it across the country. What I wasn't expecting was for me to say no because Shaylisi is with me, and for there to be another one there. Uh, I will tell you, motorcycles and YouTube have made the world a much smaller place for me and they've made it a much cooler place because <laughs> it takes a dude like that to pull a stunt like this because he knew I was coming with Shay Lisi and all of a sudden he goes like oh by the way y'all can both ride back uh, when someone double dog dares me to ride a shitty motorcycle that's 40 plus years old across the country the answer is always yes uh, with Shaylisi, it might have been no, but I don't think she has a choice now. Bodacious Brody and Jam and Jace on YouTube, live, direct, and in effect. Yeah, you guys are on YouTube. Jam and Jace, Bodacious Brody. Jason, thank you again, man. Yeah, man. You're the man. I'm going to call you tomorrow morning. Let's ride. I just went from a uh, silver wing to, <laughs> to a Dyna Bro Dyna here real quick. The other silver wing is in great condition, but... I wouldn't say it's uh, perfect. We're here in Portland for another few days. I still want to ride. We're going to do the same thing, drop that other silver wing off to Legion Moto Co. And Jason just goes like, well, hey, you want to ride tomorrow? Why don't you go ahead and take my Dyna? You want to talk about the host with the most, baby? <laughs> you ready to do 4,000 miles on it? Dude. I love every like little bridge and river out here in Portland. Just looks like there's like fairies living in every little crack and crevice. Just sometimes they're in Coleman tents. Follow her on Instagram. Ah, and in the harsh light of day, the realization comes down that it's legal. <laughs> there's that. And also that uh, because of Jason from Sugar Tree over here, we're riding across the country. We came for a just a three hour tour or a four day tour and it's turning into a 14 day adventure. You ready? Nope. My first time walking around downtown Portland, everyone goes watch out for all the homeless people and there's certainly tents around and stuff like that. But I'll tell you the difference between everybody who I've seen in a tent here, vagrants and homeless people in Tampa, is that in Tampa, 
<laughs> they're aggressive. They're freaking right up. They'll follow you and be like, yo, you got a dollar? I said, you got a dollar? No, they're like, well, fuck you then. <laughs> well, we're officially running late. There's a shocker making poor Jason wait for us outside in the heat. Poor Jason from Sugar Tree Farms buys two motorcycles to donate to freaking Forgotten Angels for the raffle, lets me ride around his badass Dinah, invites us out to Oregon to freaking talk about me, putting Brap Star weed inside of Oregon dispensaries, and we're just making him wait outside and sweat for us right now. We are literally the worst sometimes. I'm so sorry that took forever, dude, and I'm having to go back up to the room, man. We're the worst. If you stand on your head, we're the best, baby. It's all a matter of perspective, right? So far, right around downtown Portland, what I found out is this place is a jaywalker's paradise. I don't know if they're ready for me to ride around them, but everyone else here just stops immediately. So every time I've crossed the street, cars, I just am standing on the side there, ready to jaywalk, because we're from Florida, we jaywalk everywhere. Cars just automatically start stopping without me even trying to step out into the street. <laughs> Poor Jason, he's being, he's being so patient with us. And if, if anybody's ever wondering like, oh man, what does it take to get special treatment from Rap Star. I gotta donate a couple of motorcycles to the Forgotten Angels raffle, let you borrow a bike. Like, nah, man. Even the people who do all those things, even those guys, they st we still make them wait. We're still late with those guys. I don't know what to tell you. Oh my gosh. This is so nice. Last time I was just in and out of Portland so fast. This looks like a really fun place to own a motorcycle. It's too bad it snows for half the damn year. I just I'm just see this just crisscrossing bridges everywhere and just city streets and back roads. Like what an amazing place to have the freedom of a motorcycle. Of course I say that and some people who live here might be like, yeah, it sucks, but I don't know. <laughs> right now, the air is just ripe, nay, pregnant with opportunity. I had that feeling last time I was in the Pacific Northwest, and I love how it even translates to the city. It's just this kind of ethereal, otherworldly, uncanny valley feeling of, of a world just beyond the veil. Just this, this very thin veil standing up and separating the mundane from the magical. And it, I really like it. Just like, like there's going to be some sort of magic portal around every corner, or elves and Bigfoot and Sasquatch lurking under every bridge. And yeah, I got a big imagination, but I love that even the cities make me feel like that. Okay, we're starting out with the Shea Day. We started out with donuts. I mean, we're kind of got to ease her into the idea that she's about to be riding 4,000 miles across the country for the very first time. So <laughs> we're going to do nothing but beautiful stuff today. Normally, a uh, I'd start a vacation day out, out with a beer as, as early as they would let me have one. But today we're going to be visiting Japanese gardens and waterfalls. It's going to be gorgeous. This is what I was really missing last time when I came to Portland is I didn't get any time to explore a surrounding area. I just basically got here, got on the bike and hauled ass. Mm, everything just smells green. <laughs> and usually passing cars smell really green. Shay Lisi is definitely going to be learning about a lack of torque, downshifting, and staying in the power band on that. That GL650 makes a lot more power than the other one, but she is still going to have to definitely be uh, <laughs> playing, through, playing with the gears on that thing to go up these hills. I have every faith in her. Now, Shaylisi ain't no stranger to mountain adventures on the motorcycle. We've done our fair share uh, throughout California, North Carolina, and a few other places. Uh, this is going to be a whole lot more than we've ever done together. And on a bike that she just started riding uh, yesterday for a few miles. So, <laughs> trial by fire, baby. I believe in you, kid. Oh my gosh, Vista Point is right. I'm just catching sneak peeks of the view out there. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow, man. <laughs> I swear to God. Or it, what a what a cruel joke that that it snows for more than half a year and you can't ride a motorcycle out here. Because this is truly a motorcyclist paradise. Wow. This is just like a further. Oh, come on. You cannot stop in the middle of the road, Chief. <laughs> Stopping in the middle of the road around a turn. Uh, you, you are asking for trouble, buddy. Dude, this looks like something out of mist. Oh, yeah. 
business I live here, never knew business here. Dude, doesn't it look like the like the passage to the next part of a video game? Looks like something out of mist. I'm gonna go in there and like turn a dial and solve a cipher, and all of a sudden we get in the secret room. <laughs> Standing out here um, at the final boss, Master Sword Temple here in the Columbia Gorge. And of course, you know, such beautiful motorcycle roads. Other people come on, on motorcycles, and one of the most fun things about meeting someone on a motorcycle is you already know you have something in common. And we got a lot in common because my man here is leaving in two weeks with 250 people to ride all the way to St. Augustine, Florida from Portland, Oregon. Now that is cool. Met an awesome German couple and I took their picture and I took a picture of me and their cell phone. And then we, we uh, first day, things are turning out pretty awesome already. For about an hour. My favorite thing about motorcycles, man. You just run into somebody, random people on the side of the road. Stands the reason, uh, you got at least one thing in common and that thing is motorcycles. Usually you start talking to them, you got a couple other things in common too. It's the thing about riding a motorcycle, <laughs> you might show up to a place a stranger, but when you're on two wheels, you usually don't say a stranger for long. By the end of this trip, that bike's gonna feel like an old friend. Oh yeah, I got a feeling that the Columbia River Highway was gonna be the right choice. Especially for Shay to get to know that bike. Like, eh, it's not too crazy, but there, there's pretty much everything. Just like lots of twisty stuff, couple of switchbacks, uh, some elevation changes, just exactly what she needs to get used to, to get used to that bike. Oh, this is just freaking perfect. Twisty roads, beautiful weather, surrounded by mossy rocks on either side. And no traffic out here because we're just like like 10.30 a.m. on a weekday. This is primo, baby. I am feeling good. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude, I just like an instantly transport into the freaking fairy forest down here. Dang, dude. Weren't we just in the city just a few minutes ago? <laughs> I can't believe this isn't just flooded with motorcycles. This is an amazing road and it's perfectly maintained. This is awesome. Not, this is just smooth as glass. Not a single, not a bump, like not a, not a crack in the road, no potholes. Like this is, this is primo motorcycle road right here. Oh, well, maybe this is why. I mean, middle of the day, these are the first cars we've run onto in a few miles, which, uh, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of turnoffs for us to go around them if they even choose to let us go by. But it's still gorgeous. It'd be hard to get me down on a motorcycle on the other side of the country on a road like this. You have to try harder than a car in front of me to upset me today. Oh, I love it. I can roll down this road with no guardrail, just fall right down the side like that. It's my favorite kind of road, baby. What's riding a motorcycle without just a little bit of danger? Come on. Dang, dude. That's a big old rock hanging over the side of the highway there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. oh, what a view, man. I wonder if there's any way to get off road here. This is like, oh my, wow. <laughs> this is like exactly the kind of place where you're like, this is the kind of thing you do on the Trans American Trail on the paved sections where people are like, I can't believe there's paved sections on the Trans American Trail. How lame. Well, this is what they look like. Well, I mean, not everywhere anyway, but in the places that have scenery like this, they do. All right, I got a permit check up ahead. Apparently you're supposed to buy a permit to get in here. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can weasel my way in without one. Well, uh, that's where we were supposed to show a permit. I think he was going back to check on something else, but we went ahead and just went. So <laughs> if they come chasing after us, asking us for a permit, I'm just gonna be like, well, uh, we're with you two. Come on, you know, Shay Tree Surgeon, Shay Lisi, we're doing a Brap Star Travel Series. You don't know about that? Come on, everybody knows about that. I mean, I gotta have a permit to gaze upon the wonder of nature. You can't charge me for my eyeballs in taking wondrous sights. Looking, looking's free, man. Come on, my eyeballs be seeing all sorts of things. Maybe I'll just, I'll, I'll, if they give me a hard time, I'll just be like, hey, I went to the falls, but I closed my eyes. I just kept my eyes closed the whole time so I didn't gaze upon its wonders. So I don't owe you nothing. Right now, I'm seeing some motorcyclists out here. I like that. 
road's just too pretty to not have people out on motorcycles enjoying it. And they got motorcycle parking, perfect for the press fleet. You have to walk a mile. Dude, this whole, that ain't, I don't think that, oh, whoa, no, there it is, it's not a mile. <laughs> That's right around the corner. I thought we were gonna have to walk a whole mile. I was just like, yeah, my fat ass could okay. use it, but uh, oh, I'm not gonna complain can. if I don't have you to. You can walk all the way to the top. I think there's actually, yeah, you can get to the top. I wanna go to that bridge for sure. I ain't leaving without getting on that bridge. You might have to piggyback me up there though, Shay. Uh, it's not gonna happen. Now, if you and, J yeah, if you and Jason work together, I think you can do it. It's gonna require a little bit of teamwork, but I believe in y'all. You know what the most amazing thing about just in taking the glory of this, letting it wash across my eyeballs the beauty and majesty of mother nature we didn't pay the beauty the majesty the power of mother nature feel it inside me i can feel something inside me when i feel all this water rushing what i feel inside is that i have to piss here's something to tell you guys whenever you're out and you're at places like this and you see a couple taking pictures always offer to take their picture do the right thing but if you're gonna do it make sure you take a picture of yourself first so they have something to remember you by and if you guys search shade tree surgeon on youtube you'll find yourselves on there <laughs> oh yeah no i've already taken like 30 pictures of myself on this trip so far <laughs> They were bad too because they took a picture with me. Morning, gravity is at work. Don't go <laughs> hit my chest. Yeah. <laughs> you need to wear a bra. You're doing this I'm like, well, look at your balls, dude. Like, <laughs> gravity's not anybody. Well, the thing about my balls is they did not ever start out looking good. I know. Whenever I come to a place like this and you see something like trash in there, like, I want to hope it just happened on accident. But, uh, you know, come on, that's pretty upsetting. Not as upsetting enough to make me upset. This that is pretty freaking like amazing. That tr fallen tree looks like a dick. <laughs> <laughs> One of us all together, experiencing the discount magic of Sonoma Falls. How to do uh, how to do national parks on a budget? Yeah. Just don't stop when they ask you for a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe to my YouTube for more tips and tricks on how to save money when you're on vacation. I love this. It's just like enjoy the nature, enjoy the majesty, but don't enjoy it too much, okay? Let me in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's rock and roll, baby. That was beautiful. <laughs> I mean, it was, it was amazing. I'm glad we saw that. <laughs> as fun as that is, just had to stop there and get Shay the hero shot with the DSLR. That's a, the benefit of, of traveling with two people with cameras is you can go back and forth on that one. But, but in the meantime, it's time to get back to Portland proper, get my old buddy Abel Circus Bear Moto a ring, see if we can't pay him a visit. And like I said, we got a, we just got surprised with the second silver wing. <laughs> Drop that silver ring off at Legion Moto Co. and see if they can't make it road worthy enough to do 4,000 miles. I'm saying let's go back to Portland, let's go back to the city, but man, I'll tell you, riding out here right now like this, it's hard to want to go back. Uh, Shay Lisi's gonna hop on the back of my man Jason from Sugar Tree Farms. She's gonna hop on the back of his bike. I'm taking the silver wing. It's time to get the other silver wing, hopefully in good enough shape to make it across the country. Whoa, buddy. Take it easy. We're just trying to exist over here. I missed the turn in this No. Oh. <laughs> Dude, I, I knew it, man. We're gonna get along just fine. <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing but patience for someone who goes the wrong way because I am inevitably going to do it as well. <laughs> and I would like the same amount of patience. Do unto others and all that, you know what I mean? Going through a tunnel never gets old. <laughs> I don't think I could, even if I lived in a city with a tunnel, come on. I don't think I'd ever get sick of that. I never know if it's just the fact that I live in Florida and we don't have stuff like this or if it's just my absolutely irritating, endless, childlike wonder at even the most mundane things around me. <laughs> One of the two, <laughs> but I never get tired of stuff. Okay, rolling out with the double silver wing, baby. Shay Tree Surgeon and Shay Lisi on our uh, hopefully cross-country mounts. What a gentleman. I love it. We're gonna try out Jason's place. This is a Choa's. And he goes, this is the best, best Mexican food in Hillsboro, which is always weird to us because we're from Hillsboro County. I never thought Jason was gonna steer us wrong anyway. Check out the taco salad. I needed a vegetable. Yeah, I'm the one. I got vegetables, dude. They give me fajitas, and it's like straight up stir fry with the broccoli. But you know it's really good because the shrimps, they leave the eyeballs on. That's how you know you got the good stuff. You want to suck the eyeball off, Jay? No? 
Yeah, man. More eyeballs for me. Jason from Sugar Tree is peeling off because he's got important businessman stuff to do, and uh, we've got important scumbag stuff to do. So we're going to go do scumbag stuff. He's going to go do businessman stuff, and we'll meet up again tomorrow and do some joint businessman scumbag stuff. All right, man, I'll see ya. And I got my phone down there in the cup holder because I haven't mounted my phone holder yet, and fingers crossed because I kind of need that to get home. No, man, I'm just like, I don't know who, who, why anybody thought putting that there. It makes it so you can't see anything out of the left side of the mirror. But once again, doesn't get old. Although our buddy here is making a way cooler sound down here than we are. Ooh, just to fight our way through some traffic and finally back in downtown Portland. All the, I guess all the weed stuff's a little farther outside of town. Oh, dad jeans. Time to go pay the boys and girls at Legion Moto a visit, but <laughs> we come bearing gifts because I'm always a pain in the ass. When you're a pain in the ass, you learn to show up with presents. Holy crap, it's hot. We brought Florida with us, baby. <laughs> it is clear blue skies and it feels like it's about 90 degrees right now. You're welcome, Portland. Dang, I kept seeing this bridge. I'm so stoked to get to ride over it. <laughs> oh, it's the cool one. Well, not really cool to ride a motorcycle on. These, like, this grading number, just like this, is always so sketchy to ride a motorcycle on. I mean, nothing's gonna happen. It just follows a little groove. It's not like it's gonna throw you off. It just, it just, just doesn't feel the best. Dude, but people out there jet skiing, boating, that looks freaking, that looks freaking awesome. Legion mode? Oh no. Don't tell me they're closed. No, not with all these bikes outside. Maybe they just got the doors down because they got the AC on. All right, I got my friends from Legion Moto, the man himself, Victoria, of course. Oh, your name ran right out of my head. Garrett. Garrett, with all the choppers, with all the half-finished choppers, man, we know. <laughs> I sympathize. Anyway, they're over here to do something about the crappy one. This one needs nothing. Yeah, 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 no, that's uh, that's yeah. custom. I don't know if you can tell or not. I know it's, it's hard to tell because it's so clean, but you know, I think that might be aftermarket. Well, he was checking my front tire and old enough that he can't tell what deck I get from. So it could be 30 years old. It could be 20 years old. Either way, I'd say probably not great. This one's the same way. <laughs> this one? Yeah. Vintage tires. It's like a, it's like a fine wine. They only get better with age, right? <laughs> this one's got the same coat as mine. So it's either 91 or 81 or 71. <laughs> You got some pretty good cracks in the side. Yeah, These, this one right here? Yeah. Oh, her front tire? We're making many demands upon Victoria right now. <laughs> it looks like she's gonna come through though. I think I think everything's gonna be just fine. You know why I think everything's gonna be just fine? Because I never don't think everything's gonna be just fine. So they have two more tires, which they didn't think they did, and Victoria just comes out here and says they do. You know why it worked out? Because some, for some reason, I'm never going to learn my lesson. And uh, neither is Shay. <laughs> Exactly. Let me tell you what, when you're a gigantic pain in the ass and you once again come from across the country going like, hey, will you get my ass into gear with no lead up whatsoever? By the way, don't do this. Don't be like me. Don't be the guy who comes to a place and says, can you get me going good enough to go across the country in two days? <laughs> but if you are going to do that, bring presents. Oh, what's that funny smell? I hate to suggest this, but my guess would be marijuana. We came up here to come out with our own marijuana product from uh, Sugar Tree Farms. It's going to be sold here in Oregon, and it's going to be Brap Star Weed. Right now, you just get the sticker. The packaging isn't done yet, but you get to be the beta test. You're going to be the very, well, not here because they have beer and motorcycles here, but later on at home, uh, you and everyone here, dispense it as you see fit, will be the very first people to try Brap Star Weed. Shit. <laughs> Thank I'm you. very excited. Give me one of the indicas too. Yeah. Like I said, if you're gonna be in a pain in the ass, uh, make it worth somebody's while. <laughs> Coming to a dispensary near you very, <laughs> very soon. He's probably sick of everyone making this joke, but what I really want to do is go. You still making payments on that tattoo? Oh. <laughs> I'm, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. Since the last time we were here, uh, full liquor, by the way, which doesn't matter to me because I don't actually drink spirits, but for all you guys who do, there's so many people out there who are just who are like, oh, wow, beer, I can't do anything with that. Well, Legion Moto Co. now has full liquor. Yeah. <laughs> 
You don't even have to have a motorcycle. By the way, I met my man over here who looks just like Ken Dean, him and his wife, Kathy, or girlfriend, Kathy, sorry. I'm a firm believer if somebody looks like someone I like, I usually like them. And I have been proven wrong in the, in the three or four times that it's happened, so it's obviously a fact. Speaking of being a pain in the ass, so <laughs> this is why you bring gifts, because Victoria just goes over here and goes, uh, hey boss, let me run you by this. Uh, all these bikes need brake pads. We're talking about four different sets of brake pads, and they're in four different locations. <laughs> so they're like, we can go get them in the morning, but we're gonna be late to work. Never not gonna be a pain in the ass. That's my style, man. Are you telling me? If it wasn't a pain in the ass, no one would remember me. <laughs> you know when he remembers the nice guy, they remember the asshole. If your old fashioned is anything like my old fashioned, it's absolutely terrible. Oh, yeah. I've been making the same old fashioned for 18 years. I've never changed it. And I get two reviews. One, it's amazing, and two, it's terrible. So it just tells me nobody really knows that's good. I've been bartending for like a month. People are like, can I get a blah, blah, blah? I'm like, here's your whiskey toast. Yeah. You know how I make it old fashioned? The same way I've made it forever. I squeeze a piece of orange into a cup. I put six dashes of bitters in there and I put whiskey in it and I serve it. End of fucking story. <laughs> Every single old fashioned, or sometimes if I'm feeling nice, I'll put some amaretto in it. And that's the same old fashioned I've been making for literally 18 years. And if anybody ever tries to change it, I will fight you to the fucking death. Chili came up, and like I said, uh, there's a few patches I always recognize. Chosen Few is always one of them, because if you guys have ever seen me wear a shirt that says Omaha Firefighter on it, that was given by to me by a very good friend of mine named Inferno, and it's so cool to walk up to somebody and I, literally on the ass end of the other side of the country who I can share a story about him with. If you live in Portland or you're not hanging out, you're a fucking idiot. You're doing it wrong, man. <laughs> I've had such an amazing time because everyone tells me I'm not gonna like Portland. The reason I do like Portland, exactly what I found sitting in this chair right here. I like the trees, to be honest. <laughs> Somehow, despite my best efforts, <laughs> and I tried so hard, once again, Victoria has managed to escape my club. Watches this time. We'll see you next time. Yeah, We're coming time. quarterly. Yeah. <laughs> Although I'll be honest, Victoria, I'd like to come more than quarterly. <laughs> Well, we're uh, back in a familiar situation here at Legion <laughs> Legion Motor Co. With the guys here, freaking, he's working on the tire change right now, making sure Shay's gonna be safe and set up for the cross country trip. And you know, I'll be safe and set up too, but I'm less worried about me. God loves an idiot, and Shay just isn't quite as big an idiot as I am. So I don't know if she gets all the same luck. But all the bikes are getting set up, completely inspected. These guys are, are really are something else. This being the second time that we've been out there, we've been welcomed with open arms. We were at the bar last night and they might want me to go away because I'm an absolute menace once I get about 40 or 50 business beers inside my body. No one really wants to be around me, but I don't really give them much of a choice either. So far, we haven't worn out our welcome. <laughs> but I'm gonna do my best to try. What happened last night was we were hanging out at the bar and I was just like, where is everybody? Because it's an amazing bar, it's super cool. Everybody's super friendly. The answer was like, some people A, just don't know this place is here, or B, don't know if they're actually allowed to come in and have a beer at the bar. Yes, you are. It's a regular bar, there's a guy in there cutting hair, like, and you can get your bike worked on, but you don't have to have a bike. You don't have to have your bike worked on to come here and have a beer. And they said that some people find them scary. <laughs> Let me tell you, uh, these guys are the opposite of scary. Like everyone here is so welcoming and so friendly and have made us feel absolutely right at home. Legion Moto is, is if there was one of these in every single town, it would be absolutely amazing, and Portland's lucky to have it. When you have a bike that came with a starter and you put a mag on it and a Kickstarter, yeah. you know, when you get, you gotta expect you're gonna get laughed at sometimes, and I expect that uh, one day, uh, when I build an Evo chopper, I'll also be getting laughed at. Right? I get laughed at all the time. Standing out here. We got the entire team together. We got a group picture. It's a lot of fun. Like I said, this video is not going to come out till well. We're well out of, like, out of Portland. But again, uh, we plan on coming back to Portland pretty regularly because of, you know, what we're doing with Sugar Tree Farms. Hopefully we'll be back here pretty soon and we'll definitely be partying at Legion Moto again. And in the meantime, Come up here and party with them even if we aren't here. Well, since the silver wings are getting fixed, Shaylisi has been relegated once again to the back seat. It's not because you're a girl. You could ride this bike, but I think that uh, if we're both going to ride, this is just a little easier. I'll tell you, I've actually really enjoyed going around downtown Portland. It's just uh, with all the trees and everything like that, and not like we don't have trees in downtown Tampa, they're just... 
I don't know, man. There's something really, really beautiful about it out here. That's what I was talking about with the ivy. Where they got, yeah, they got all that that lattice work on the outside of the building for the ivy to crawl up. It's so cool. I've seen a lot of this, just like where there's they just take over the street with uh, seating for restaurants, like outdoor seating. I wonder if that's left over from COVID or if that's something they've always done down here. I, it is pretty neat. I mean, I imagine if you're driving and annoyed with the traffic, it kind of sucks. But just making use of that outdoor space and part of the street to sit down and enjoy this weather out here. I don't know. I like it. We ain't going to go super far today because <laughs> I really don't want to do that to Shay Lisi there on the back. But that doesn't mean we can't explore Portland a little bit. So today we're going to check out the Portland Zoo. I literally can't remember the last time I went to a zoo because I'm a grown man and going to the zoo seems like a, I, I don't know, man. Is there a bar there? If there's a way to get drunk at the zoo, I will certainly find out how. Not my normal, uh, my normal chosen activity when in a new town. It's normally, uh, find the closest pub, drink there until I'm asked to leave. Uh, not go to the zoo and see all the prancing animals, but hey, you know, I, I, I can adapt. I can adapt and overcome. Shay Lisi wants to go to the zoo. I can figure out how to have a good time there. Look at those big glass towers. Hours. It's crazy looking. Oh, there's someone at the top. I can see him. This is really a pretty place. I don't know. I, I said this last time I was here. I was just, you know, you, you watch all the movies, you look at all the memes. I was expecting Portland just to be, I, I, I don't know. I wasn't expecting to like it just from what everybody says online, but the people are amazing. The city is beautiful. The riding is great. Like, I don't know, man. Portland, Oregon, Oregon in general, and Portland, this is a pretty amazing place. I'm having an awesome time here. Uh, even the riding, just riding through the city like this is amazing. Uh, look at it spread out like that. How, how could you hate this place? <laughs> so many people do. I'm just like looking around here. I, I guess if you if you try to find something to hate, whether it's the the politics or the or the you know the homeless or, or whatever it is, if you try to find something to hate, you're gonna find it. But man. I don't know, that's just not how I do business. I just, I'm out here on this bridge, freaking enjoying this weather on a motorcycle, and I'm just, I, I could find something to hate, that's for sure, but why? When all of this is spread out right before me. Still doesn't get old, and I'm on a motorcycle that makes a way cooler sound in one now. And it don't take much, man. You just like go through that tunnel from downtown Portland and it's just bang, the trees that are freaking, freaking 50 yards high. I mean, that's really just, it's such a dramatic change. Well, that was a very short lived trip to the zoo. Uh, apparently at the Oregon Zoo, you have to book your tickets 10 days in advance minimum. Your visit is timed. You have to pick the time you want to go, and apparently if you if you take too long indulging your eyeballs on all them beautiful tigers and exotic birds, they're going to get mad at you. You're not allowed to enjoy it that much. Enjoy it just a small amount. Oh, well, Portland Zoo, we'll never know. It just seems to be kind of a theme here, because it was the same thing with the waterfall, where you have to buy tickets in advance, and the amount of time you can spend there is timed. It's an odd thing because, I don't know, just like I said, I haven't been to the zoo in years, but when we were kids, like, man, you go to the Lloyd Park Zoo and you just stay there all freaking day. Anyway, we're going to go see if we got a little better luck at the Japanese garden. Mm, we're going to look at the Portland Zoo from up here. Feast our eyeballs for free. <laughs> don't look too long though. Yeah. Okay, Shay, just a minute. All right. Well, at 20 bucks a ticket, expectations are high and there's already been a whole bunch of walking uphill so that's a, a point down you know i don't like walking that much up because we're walking uphill not downhill dipshit i've taught you too well i mean it's got to be supposed to look like one of these trees right it is it is one of those trees well look how it's a uh this is right here black dragon it just looks like you're like you're, okay this looks like the big one back there <laughs> I mean, not quite the way the branches go out and stuff. Years old. Tree is older than both of us. What? A tree? 250 years old? Holy mackerel. We're just hanging out. So, what is a 250 year old bonsai plant worth? A couple hundred bucks, gotta be. Thousands. This tiny one's hundreds and hundreds of dollars. That just looks like a shrub. I really like how um, some of them just look like really just like miniature trees you know it just looks like this like uh well no i'm just saying but some of them do and then some of them just look like a stick <laughs> it's 
stick is 250 years old. Uh, okay, I'll have a little more respect for it, but it still just looks like a stick. You see these wires? That's how they train it. They used to use more wires on me when I was a kid. Yeah, it's just great. That one looks insane, right? And then that one looks like something I would use uh, my hedge clippers on. All right, I'll be honest. I was kind of worried the Japanese gardens were gonna be totally lame, but it's gorgeous out here. Very peaceful, causing me to have to sit back and reflect and think about, well, okay, now I don't like it anymore. I have to sit back and relax. I Freaking Shay being a gremlin doing drugs over there. <laughs> a forest spirit. So beautiful, so majestic. Is there like a stick I can toss a ring on and take one home in a bag? Wow. That's wow. I think, I think, I think I might be moved. I might be moved. No, it's just gas. Walking through there, everything's just so green, so natural looking, you know? And you come along this tree, which I don't know if the colors are gonna show up, but just get here and like look at the thing and it just looks so alien, like this something. Is what the guy on the quest asked me for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. find all the red trees. Exactly, yeah, they should have a little beacon over it. Like ding, ding, you found it. Looks like it's from outer space. Truly beautiful, so zen. What I really wanna do is just like go out there and draw a dick in it just so everyone in the comment section starts freaking out on me. <laughs> but, uh, you know, everyone's been very nice here, so I guess I'll allow it to exist without a penis drawn in it. You gonna live? Oh, my shoulder is so fucked up. This is my range of motion. I can... Oh, well, turn on the camera. All of a sudden, here it comes. <laughs> here it comes. Owie. Ow. <laughs> like he's never been in a motorcycle accident before. I'm just kidding. So we're hanging out. <laughs> pop, my, pop my motorcycle crash carry. Hanging out here with Circus Baramoto. He lives. I live. We've been sitting here actually talking and hanging out for a little bit. Gotta put it on camera because uh, Pomodoro didn't happen. Things are looking a lot better than they were seven weeks ago. How long have you been out of the hospital? I've been in the hospital two and a half weeks. Yeah. Two and a half weeks. He was in the hospital for seven weeks, right? Yeah, about six, six and a half weeks. Ruptured spleen that they had to remove, lacerated liver. Got all sorts of new fancy metal parts. They've rebuilt him slower. And they're like, oh, six million man, we can rebuild him better. It's like, no, they've rebuilt him slower, more painful, <laughs> weaker. Trust me, dude, I know. <laughs> but you're here, he'll be back on a bike soon. And that's all about, we, we gotta say about that because we're gonna finish our time here, hanging out, catching up and have, well, I'm gonna have some beers. I don't know how many beers Abel can put down here. No beers, no beers. <laughs> yeah, no so, beers. So many meds. Oh yeah. yeah, plus like the liver. Another day, another 37 car alarm set off at the Vance Hotel. All right, starting out this morning right. Yesterday was donuts for Shay Lisi, uh, but today we're doing things my way. So we found a French bakery that we're gonna try out because let me tell you, I love pastries. Uh, I just usually like them to have meat in them too. And if there's something the French do right, it's making a sweet morning treat pastry that also has like prosciutto in it or something or some kind of ham. Like, I love that. French food, beer, wine, and champagne, and cognac. <laughs> That's where it's at for me, man. That's a... That's a culture of people who understand decadence. Oh, look at that vintage Mercedes just freaking hanging out, looking absolutely gorgeous, too. Thing looks in amazing shape. Wow. Very cool. Oh, man. And we're going to get to park near it, too. Very cool. Just want to go check out that car real quick if the guy's still in it. Oh, I don't want to go. It looks like he's having trouble parking. I don't want to freaking be like, hey, man, I want to check out your car while you're struggling to parallel park it right now. <laughs> All right, now I can come check it out. Looks like he's parked now. I would hate that. I'm like trying to figure something out and someone's like, dang, nice car. Yeah, I just, sorry, just walking over to check it out, man. What a beautiful car, man. Absolutely love it, man. Very cool. <laughs> hey, you have a good one. Everything looks freaking amazing. When in Rome, baby. Usually I only use this cooling system with my Ducati, but funny enough, you can actually drink it too. It's like Coca-Cola for Americans. Yeah, yeah. You can use it to like clean your toilet or yeah, you brush your teeth. Drink it. Or you can drink it. There's two types of breakfast eater. One who eats candy and somebody who eats everything. <laughs> I like dessert. The best looking quiche I've ever seen. But it might very well be hot lava. The hot lava. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's so good though. Yeah, wait a sec. <laughs> Fire doesn't burn the dragon. <laughs> Omaha lava. Yeah, it's lava. Good though, isn't it? Delicious. Yes. Because you didn't say it. Oh, I didn't. All right, let me try my cheesy sandwich. I think the French have a fancy name for these. It's like croquet or something like that. But I know a grilled, I know a grilled cheese sandwich when I see one. <sighs> Delicious. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, let's roll out, man. Let's go Okay, let's roll out, man. Going to Benchmade Knives today. Uh, full of delicious French food, lots of butter and ham. And I've got a GPS that always wants to tell me to go the wrong way. I don't know what it is. I've never had my GPS work less reliably in almost anywhere than I have in downtown Portland. Well, today definitely might seem like my day, starting off with a half pound of French butter for breakfast and uh, then heading out to see the Benchmade Knives factory. But we are actually going out to Benchmade Knives at Shaylisi's request, not mine. She's got something special to do out there, and uh, I'm not going to tell her story for her. You're going to have to go see it on her channel. There was a Benchmade that was really, really special to her, so we're going out to see if we can't replace that there. It don't take long to get the hell out of town in Portland. <laughs> I guess that's why everything here just seems like there's so many survival brands and knife brands and all these places are based out of Portland, like Benchmade and a bunch of other stuff, just because, damn, you, this is, this is some wilderness country out here. You know, it might be weird downtown Portland, but you get outside of town, <laughs> oh, it's time to, you better know how to survive out here. So that's one of the things that really doesn't get old. Just pulling up in a place like this and being like, man, a Benchmade has been just like a, you know, a storied brand for my entire life. And like, yeah, they, of course they have a factory. Like, absolutely they have a factory. Look at that bad, that van is awesome. A Mitsubishi Delica. That's a very cool van. I'm gonna park and make us walk a little bit because it's so cool and I wanna go look at it. They take their survival seriously out here in Oregon, man. This is a really cool van. Oh my God, it's a right hand drive too. So this was imported. Can you imagine shifting with your left hand? That would be so weird. It's got a big snorkel. This thing is awesome. <laughs> yeah, the Japanese four before. I'd love to have something like this. I'd just be so worried about working on it and getting parts because it's they never made it here. All right, Benchmade has been absolutely amazing. Everyone went above and beyond, but there's only one thing I really want to know. Who's Heavy D? Who's Heavy D? And who the hell is Juju Ferrari? <laughs> and why didn't they come get their knife? Who killed Juju Ferrari? Benchmade was absolutely amazing. Everyone was super cool and they helped out Shay. And again, I'm not gonna tell Shay's story. You have to go to her channel and see it. What an awesome experience. You know, coming in there, not knowing anything, not knowing, she didn't know what knife she needed. They had them searching through catalogs. Everyone was just excited. They were they were excited to be on a quest to try and find her the right knife. People up there at Benchmade were very, very cool. As for right now, time to head back to Portland to the hotel room, get some editing done because <laughs> all of a sudden, it looks like we're gonna be on the road for, uh, as I said, way longer than I initially thought. This was supposed to be a four day trip, by the way. So we're gonna get some editing done, and since we're here anyway, we uh, I just made an announcement. We're partying at Legion tonight, so I put that on Instagram. I also announced it on YouTube and a couple other places. Uh, hopefully some people show up. I mean, I don't know how many peeps we got, how many friendlies, how many shade tree weirdos there are in the Portland and the surrounding area, but hopefully a few, you know? I, uh, I don't like to drink alone. <laughs> so we'll see how many people show out tonight at Legion, and then also for the ride tomorrow morning. All right, we have two silver wings. One definitely looks nicer <laughs> than this one, but now they're both officially ready to rock and roll. Thanks to our good friends at Legion Moto. So as Shay Lisi said, this is probably the most prepared we've ever actually been for um, any kind of long trip. I mean, we're still rolling the dice. We're still almost 40 year old motorcycles, uh, but I think we're rolling the dice a little bit less with these guys help. I don't want Shay Lisi to be on a bike that's gonna break down halfway in the middle of nowhere. That leaves a bad taste in your mouth if you're not ready for it. Personally, I like the adventure. We're gonna take these home, load them up, because we're leaving tomorrow morning, but then we're coming back here to party. Okay, well, uh, now the party can start, now that Jason's here. We're making sure we can actually give out samples. So these are ours. We're just making sure we're allowed to give them out or not, because we don't know. Here's the Brapstar samples, the, the, the grams over here that we're giving out to everybody with a sticker, or we're going to. 
And then Jason rolls up with this. He's like, yeah, I brought some samples too. <laughs> Except he was a lot more generous with his samples than we were, man. <laughs> uh, my man Chili's here. And of course, let me tell you, it's not every down and uh, not all the time that you meet another guy with a split tongue. And especially a guy with a split tongue that also looks like, when I say you look like me, I just mean like ugly. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> My mom I'm sorry. Me. My mom lied to me. I don't know if you knew it, but my friend Lost on the Road is here, dude. It's always really good to see him. <laughs> I, yeah. I know, I know. Dude, can you guys stop making me look bad? I thought 512, I'm doing this like right from my eye height. And now down to Shay. <laughs> they told me 512 and a half was a good size, okay? <laughs> I'm only 5'18. 5'18, I love it. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. <laughs> you guys are so kind. Shay, what does it feel like? <laughs> Can you believe this? The, the magnanimous moment, the immensity of this right now. Shade Tree Surgeon and Greasy Reaper in the same spot, baby. Right this is Greasy Reaper. Let me tell you what, man. This is a guy that we've been doing stuff with, that we've been fucking talking to, and he's been helping out with stuff for literally, like, probably the past six or seven years. Yeah. It's the first time that we've ever... Come on in, Shay. Yay. This is the first time we've ever met in the flesh. <laughs> when I first started build my chopper, my access to crazy chopper. Yeah, yeah. This dude was the guy who answered my questions. The posters <laughs> up in his old garage. I'm dude, that, man. If you're not following Greasy Reaper on Instagram right now, I'm going to come to your house. I'm going to fuck you. And if you are into that, still follow him. It's right. great. <laughs> Here's what I forgot to mention. We just got to drinking and talking and having fun. <laughs> is that uh, <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> you motherfucker. What I forgot to say was that anybody who likes my FXR, who likes Bar Party, that was absolutely 100% stolen <laughs> from Greasy Reaper. Gladly given. Gladly given. So he freaking gave me the very first sticker, which is still on the side. So if you want a Bar Party sticker, if you have a Bar Party of your own, and you know if you got a bar party. And that was the old <laughs> Cycle Monster. If you remember this. The, oh yeah, I remember Cycle Monster. It started off with Cycle Monster and then All the right. Monster Energy. Put the, ba put, the, put the bar party sticker back on your site. Okay. I'll have your link down below, Greasy Reaper. You want a bar party sticker? There's only one place to get it. That's it. He's the one who came up with the name. That's right. <laughs> well, he came up with it for himself. I just took it. Yeah. <laughs> Merlin's beard, baby. The one and only. Anyway, if you ever wonder what an asshole's bike looks like, it looks like this. The front parts, these are all off of old fucking uh, serving dishes. Yeah, this is off a casserole dish. Uh-huh. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in the kitchen. These are actually little tart dishes. <laughs> it's a fake king and queen that's got a hinge, and my tools are in here. Aw, oh, neato. It's got a hinge. And yeah, his, tool, right his tools are in my there. My tools. Don't we love this? Dude, that fucking shit is all right. Shay, don't you wish you were talented so you could do something like this? I do. If you had them talented, you're not talented. Do you have to be talented to do something like this? You actually have to be smart and do math. Really creative, and I'm none of those. That's a real bummer. I taught her, I taught her, so I've taught her how to do everything wrong. So she'll never do this. Sorry. Sorry. I'll never be this talented. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> Woo! Happy birthday! Well, it's the next day and officially our last day in Portland. Heading over to Legion Moto Co. right now. We're meeting up with the guys to ride down to Bend, Oregon. It's a pretty cool send off for a very unexpected journey. A strange and unexpected journey, that's for sure, man. Not exactly what I was planning on doing for the next 10 days, but here we are. I am certainly not complaining. <laughs> the, the chances and the good fortune that have just fallen into my lap never cease to absolutely humble and amaze me. I, I just, all I gotta say is God must love an idiot, man. <laughs> Cause I still, I just, it just ends up working out all right, man. You know, I didn't expect it to go down like this, but here we are riding across the country again after just, just like 
month a month later after I just did it. And this time with Shay Lisi, who I felt so bad all the other times when I had left her behind. So, man, that makes me feel good. Although, I don't know if we're actually going to make the group ride. Shay's going to make a decision when we get there. She is actually feeling very ill today, very sick to her stomach. Might have been something she ate. You know, having to pull over and throw up randomly doesn't exactly sync up with going on a huge group ride. So, we'll see when we get there. That's a little overcast. On an overcast day like this in Florida, you probably get a bunch of people not showing up for a group ride but seems to reason people in portland are kind of used to it being like this so i don't know i don't think it'd keep them home and judging from the bikes out front it did god loves an idiot i leave this camera all over the place and everyone else just cleans up after me they just take care of my stuff as they just leave it behind me willy-nilly leaving stuff behind making mistakes luckily i'm just like a mascot so <laughs> Everyone's looking out for me and everything's just fine. My camera is safe. Oh, that, that would have been pretty funny if I literally lost my camera on the first day we started our trip back to Tampa from Portland. What you looking at, Shay? Everything good? Yeah, I'm putting a bell on my bike. Oh, you putting a bell on? Hell yeah. Got him. All right, guys, that's gonna about do it for this video. Uh, leaving Portland, the, the just the hospitality and the people and how we've been treated here has been nothing short of amazing. Was last time too. Jason from Sugar Tree donating not one 1983 silver wing, but two 1983 silver wings. <laughs> uh, and then forcing, not well no one's forcing her old rubber arms over here. Shay Lisi to have to ride cross country on a motorcycle as well. Number 11, baby. So we embark on, when I usually say a strange and unexpected journey, but this time it literally is actually an unexpected journey. This is it. We didn't expect to be here, but I ain't complaining. Expect the unexpected, prepare for the worst, hope for the best, shoot for the moon, aim for the ground. Yeah, well, I don't even prepare for the worst. I prepare for nothing and just uh, cross my fingers and rely on the kindness of others who take pity on a poor fool like myself. All right, guys, that's gonna about do it for the first episode in a very strange and unexpected journey across the United States with Shay Lisi. Well, the first episode of us finding out anyway. Uh, Shay Lisi's video should be coming out directly after mine, and if you go to her video, she's actually got the first part of the journey on that video. I don't know how I have so many words, but I have so many words that if I wanted to include the first part of the journey, my video would have been like two hours long. So, like I said, go see Shay Lisi for that. That one and obviously I'm speaking to you from the future. I'm the ghost of Christmas future right now. That means yes, we did make it home one way or another. Things uh, didn't exactly go exactly according to plan more than a few times, but we are alive, so there's that. I, I assume someone would have heard something. Well, I guess I wouldn't be filming this and editing this video if I wasn't alive, huh? Huh, makes you think. I hate thinking. Just wanted to wrap this up with another huge thanks to everybody in Portland who took care of us, all the amazing people we met and got to hang out with, all the guys at Legion Moto, and of course, Jason from Sugar Tree Farms, who thank you. <laughs> Thank you, you bastard. I, again, I'm not complaining. That was a, that was just, did not see that one coming. Everyone's gonna think it was a setup, but there you go, man. I feel like I'm on a, like a game show or something when, when all that stuff was going on. Huge thanks to Jason. He's the reason that this all happened. And besides all that, and the thanks for, you know, forcing us into a cross country trip on two 40 year old motorcycles, those motorcycles are getting raffled off to benefit Forgotten Angels. So besides all this fun, all this talk of like in Portland and all the drinks and all the, all the adventure and all that. What this is really about is helping out the young men at Forgotten Angels. If you guys didn't know, Forgotten Angels is a charity that helps young men who've aged out of the foster care system. A lot of you guys are familiar with it because you come to the campouts that we do there, the Weirdo Campouts. There's actually one coming up this October, Halloween weekend. Dave and Cindy are getting married at that one. Anyway, it's uh, about 15 acres uh, here in Tampa. Basically what happens is, is these young men, they've suffered so much horrible abuse. Uh, they've been physically abused abused, mentally abused, sexually abused, to the point where they get put in some bad acting foster homes. Now there's a lot of good foster parents, but there is a lot of absolutely horrendous ones as well. And it's very common for these boys to get to put like four of them in a room. They don't have to really feed them. They don't have to take care of them. They have to watch them. They don't have to provide any entertainment. They don't have to do anything except make sure they're a lot. That sounds so horrible. Uh, and you'd like, how could any social worker let them get away with this? 
Well, you have to imagine the situations that they came from. The situations that they came from are so dire and so horrible that, yeah, that's actually preferable, but it's not acceptable. Yet it still happens. They treat them as a cash cow. They basically paid about $1,000 per kid. They can keep uh, four in a room in a three bedroom house. You do the math. Seriously, you do the math. I'm bad at math. I didn't graduate high school. And when they turn 18, the money stops. And this is a very common story among almost every single young man who's, who's come to Forgotten Angels and Cindy, it was her story too. In turn 18, the money turns off on their 18th birthday. They're given a garbage bag, told to put everything they own in it, if they even own anything, and they're literally kicked out on the street and made homeless. A lot of them don't have cell phones, they don't have any money, some of them don't have an ID even. Absolutely so unprepared to deal with anything in the world out there. You know, I don't know if you are an adult when you were 18, but I certainly wasn't. I don't really identify as an adult now either, actually. So they're just thrust into the world with, with nothing and no way to survive survive and no skills and it's, it's it's horrible and and so that's where Forgotten Angels comes in. This Forgotten Angels is way more than some place that just goes, hey kid, here, have a couple thousand dollars. We'll help you get a hotel room or a or an apartment for a little while and then leaves. Like, no, these young men move to the property. They live there. They have to build their own tiny home. They have to get their driver's license. They have to learn how to drive a car. They have to learn how to drive stick shift. They have to learn how to ride a motorcycle and get their motorcycle license. Dave and Cindy are mom and dad and the these kids just the, the places that they come from they were never taught how to be a man they were never taught any kind of responsibility so that's what goes on there it's not just like oh let's help them out because they're down on their luck they need so much more than that they don't need like help like help getting an apartment they don't need help getting a job they need help learning how to be a productive member of society and so it's so much more than just here let's get you a car or let's help you out for a day this is teaching them how to be a part of society giving them the, their first chance, I always say their first chance, not their second chance, their first chance, because they never got a chance in the first place. So we are raffling off both of these silver wings. Huge thanks to Jason for donating them to the cause. You want to be a part of this? Raffle tickets are 25 bucks or five for a hundred. I'll have a link down below. They aren't the only prize, by the way. There's also <laughs> there's also a Hummer, an ex-military Hummer H1. We're gonna have some other prizes up there as well. And whoever wins the silver wings, like if you win one of the silver wings, I will fly you down. I'll buy you a one-way ticket to Tampa. You can fly down here and I'll give you a gas card and you can ride it back home to wherever you live. So you can go on an adventure too. Yeah, just be prepared because it could be a sketchy adventure, but aren't those usually the best? kind and even if you don't win you don't don't we if you donate any money don't think about it like ooh, let's win I mean that would be nice but this is gambling for a good cause we are chaotic good we are bad people doing good things and for just a few bucks you can make a difference and even if you can't afford a raffle ticket that's totally fine because you can tell somebody about forgotten angels you can share this video you can share a mission and if you share that mission then you're officially doing more for those kids than almost anybody has ever done for them their entire lives come to the camp out come hang out with us it's october weekend i'm going to have more details on the brapstar.com website i'll be very very remiss if i didn't also say that we have a limited edition commemorative Shay Lisi and Shay Tree Surgeon t-shirt that a very limited amount, uh, very limited numbers will be being pre-sold. I already sold, uh, fortunately, or, or fortunately, I feel very fortunate that I have them. I already pre-sold most of them to uh, to my Discord, so there are still a few Mass Chingones pre-order slots left if you want to grab a t-shirt commemorating the great journey, bro, of Shay Lisi and Shay Tree Surgeon across the United States. Uh, or if you want to wait till the last episode, maybe there'll be some left there so you can see if we actually did make it or not. I don't know. Is it too early to, to have a t-shirt for that? I don't know. Anyway, links for everything down below. Make sure you go watch Shaylisi's video. She'll have more into the journey than I did. And make sure you're subscribed because there's plenty more coming up. Till next time, y'all, keep it weird.